The Natural Scientists, the source of Anishinaabemowin. Anishinaabemowin developed in a different kind of world than exists today. All of the culture practices of today are based on what was happening then. In order to fully understand Anishinaabe language and culture, we must remember what that world was like. There were no running engines, motors, cars, tractors, lawnmowers, chainsaws, trains, air conditioners, refrigerators, and so on. There was no heavy metal anything. There were no radios, iPods, boomboxes, televisions, or video games. Imagine waking up 1,000 years ago. You are a baby. A jeans gadao. Your world of long ago, where the Anishinaabe language is alive, is a much quieter world than the world of today. Only natural sounds are heard. The natural world is all around us. We are a part of nature. The world is alive with actions. Actions are all we talk about. People speak softly at times, and every sound spoken is heard easily. All sounds are about the nature of the world around you. There are no foreign sounds. No foreign languages are heard. Everything that surrounds you inside your home was made by someone you know, as it has been for thousands of years. Most likely, someone in your immediate family made what you see or took it directly from nature. As you grow, you will see and learn to talk about all of the actions done for making everything. The words you will hear will describe the actions in detail. You will remember the actions done and the sounds spoken as the actions are happening. Your family will show you where to find what you need in order to make everything that you will need to survive. Everything from the smallest blade of grass up to the largest tree has its use. You will learn about actions. You are constantly focused on what is happening here and now, at this very instant. You will plan for what will come in time because your actions now will determine your future survival. You have a plan for survival in mind for everything that you do. For every action you make, there is a practical reason. Much of what you eat comes from the water. The creeks, rivers, and lakes are also the roads you travel to faraway places. Water is a constant presence in your life. All living creatures depend on water for survival. Water is inside all living beings, in each kind of entity. Your family moves from place to place throughout the year, going to where food and shelter is best now at this time of year. You will travel light. Everything you need is already where you are going. There is no need to carry it. There is not a quest to own more things. Those who would carry too many things may not survive the journey. In fact, it is much easier to make the things needed for living when you arrive at the next destination than it is to carry them. You will learn from your family when the fish are plentiful in places near you. Every year you will return there at that time. You will know where to find certain plants and you will know when a plant bears fruit. You have very specific ways of describing those places and times. You will know the use of every plant you see. You will describe the actions that each plant does. You will watch them grow. You will make clothing. You will also make the tools needed to make the clothing. You will gather what nature provides. 
you will grow up being a natural scientist. You will refer to the actions which are now present in the world because you need to be constantly aware of your ever-changing physical surroundings. You will define what is happening in the physical world around you in very, very specific ways. A wee give me one. Shelter from weather, the opportunities for gathering food and getting the resources necessary for survival make awareness of natural actions very important. Your ability to accurately describe these actions from your point of view is highly valued. Your language and culture are based on this awareness of the natural world in action. Your nature-based language lets you quickly refer to what something mostly is, the type of thing it is because of what it does, its inner nature. We also call this the essence. You will speak plainly, saying exactly what you mean. Animikika. There is no time to waste trying to figure out what someone is really saying. Your language speaks of the true inner nature of things. When you see an action that happens because of something which is hidden from view, you will speak about the inner state. The inner state is made up of physical things, like molecular structure, the bones, muscles, organs, blood, and guts. You need to know the outer signs which tell you what is going on inside. You sense her peacefulness and knowledge, so you decide to visit with her. Outward signs of her inner state are what you're observing and basing your own actions on. Personal history, age, heritage, thoughts, emotions, state of health, intelligence, memory, ethnicity, cultural considerations, ethical judgments, point of view, and other things of the mind are also parts of the inner state. The inner state is pictured by modern scientists. The inner state is also pictured by Anishinaabek. June 12, 2009, the headline said, Scientists find protein that triggers plant cell division. More than 500 years ago, Anishinaabek also described the inner workings of the world. The inner state would be spoken about here also. It is a very important thing to know. If there is a sickness inside an animal which you approach, there are outer signs which tell you to keep away. You will observe events which progress one step at a time in a total process. These processes are all around you. There are many types of processes, and each type has its own spoken sound which signals what kind of process is happening or being performed. There are also actions which let you identify what someone or something is. You will speak about these identifying actions in all of their different ways of showing the true measurement of what the action is. For the natural scientist, everyone and everything has a body. Every living being and non-living thing has a body. A body is involved in action, doing the action, or affected by the actions talked about when you hear about it. Even the world all around you has a body. Abstract things also have bodies. He offers a body of teachings from his body of knowledge. 
A body is a kind of closed system in action. A body has its completeness, its totality. A wobble zone. A living body has a way to survive, a plan of survival, a way to get food and water. A non-living body has its inner composition, which physically supports the body that we see. The inner state is given substance in what is observed, seen, and touchable. Everything you see, hear, touch, taste, and smell is an action of the physical world. So we semagat minwa maunja semagat ishichkewin minwa jewebizewin. As something grows, cells split and other cells result. There is a separating and a new group is formed. Kagishika in time, the baby is separated from the mother. Whenever there is a separating action, a new group is formed. The baby has become a separate part of the family group. Everything in the world is involved in separating and grouping actions. A group of rocks became exposed in a lake, and together they formed a separate new group, an island. <laughs> A tree rises from an acorn in the earth in a process of separating and grouping actions to branch out and become a mighty oak. Matigumin. Matigue, matigumish. This man separates his vocal cords with air coming from his lungs and produces a sound. He separates his knowledge from his inner state and groups it as speech. Black elk speaks. A gigado, black elk. There is a way to speak about all of this separating and grouping, seen as physical, touchable, and observable actions. A ki. To the natural scientist, just being in a place is considered an action. A bi, a machine when something is happening at that very place, another type of action is spoken about. A penny will walk a pinique. Actions which come together, happening at the same time and place, are talked about as certain types of actions. A nima walk a que walk. Things are done with other things. There is a doer and a done too. In any combination of living and non living actors doing or receiving the action. Every name you hear is really a list of actions. You will know what someone does or what something does by the sounds you hear spoken. A wabaza, a wabozon. A zawabi uye, a maba, a wabozon. You will grow into a child who is more capable of surviving than you are now. There is a sound at the end of the list of actions describing your role as a developing baby. As you grow, that sound will be replaced as your role changes. But no genes, but no gene. Most of all, as you grow, you will become an expert in describing the different types of actions that you see. Our survival depends on each of us knowing this. Abinoa jeans. Abinoa jean. A shikin away. A shikini again. Natawa again. Gaka. 
When your mom says to you, she says this, you do that part of the nature of one who has more developing to do in the striving to continue the process of life, which is ours. You are a continuation of the Anishinaabek.